Valve released the OLED Steam Deck about three weeks ago. It had only took around two weeks until a community developer was able to overclock its 90Hz display panel to 120Hz. And today, I'll be going over how to check your Steam Deck to see if it can be overclocked. I'll show you how to set up your deck so that you can execute the mod script. Then I'll be showing you where to download that script that will overclock your Steam Deck OLED panel to 120 hertz. And finally, I'll show you how to execute that script so that the mod will be installed. And when all of that is done, you'll need to make sure two settings are enabled so that the script can actually work properly. But before we proceed, I have to urge caution here. It's unknown if this panel will be able to hold up to 120 hertz for an extended period of time. It's possible that running it at these speeds will overheat a component and will completely break your Steam Deck. It's only been about a week since this mod was released, so I feel there is a lot of testing still needed before the community as a whole will believe it is safe. Now with that said, the developer Niori, I hope I pronounced that properly, says they have put a lot of work into manually testing and tuning the display's timings to get the mod running stable for BOE displays. And speaking of, the first thing that you'll need to do is check and see which company makes the display on your Steam Deck. Some people have a panel manufactured by Samsung, while others have one made by a company named BOE. If you have a device with a Samsung display, then you won't be able to overclock it to 120 hertz. The developer says they may have an update to allow Samsung displays to overclock to around 98 hertz, but we'll have to wait until more testing is done before that's made public. Now I have already done a dedicated video here on the channel that shows how to find out which OEM makes your display panel. So in an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be, I'll be linking to that tutorial down in the video description below. I even have a written guide for it as well. But for now, it's best to leave this mod to those with a BOE screen. The next step involves creating a password for your Steam Deck in desktop mode. This is required in order to execute the mod script as it needs pseudo privileges. Which again, I just did a video this week on the channel that shows how to create a password on the Steam Deck. So if you need help using the PASSWD command in a terminal, then I'll link to that guide in the description as well. And be sure to not forget the password that you set, as we will need it soon. The next thing we need to do is download the script to the Steam Deck. I'll include the Git link in the description as well. And I recommend saving it to the Downloads folder so that it is easier to find. But you really could store it anywhere on the Steam Deck. You're just going to need to open up an explorer window and browse to that directory where you saved the script. And that's what I've done here. So now let's right click on an empty spot of this folder. And then we're going to choose the open terminal here option. This will give us a console window in the same folder that our mod script is in, which is what we want. Now, let's just type out the command 
sudo space install dash rre dot sh and then we're going to press enter on the keyboard it will ask you to confirm the password for the sudo command and if you type that in correctly it will run the install script for you this script is going to do about 98 percent of the work for you and if everything went correctly you're going to see an install completed message at the bottom of this console window. So from here, we just need to reboot back into gaming mode. The last things we need to do is confirm that a couple of features are enabled. So first, let's open up the settings page and then scroll down to the display option. Now on this page, again, we're going to scroll down. And at the very bottom, you should see a feature labeled Enable Unified Frame Limit Management. And we're going to make sure that this toggle is enabled. Then we're going to press the ellipsis button in the bottom right hand section of the Steam Deck and then make sure the performance tab is visible. Then again we're going to scroll down a little bit and you're going to find an option labeled display frame limit. And we're going to turn this toggle off. That should allow the refresh rate limiter right here to be enabled, which is what the readme of the script is talking about. And that's all there is to it. You should now be able to overclock the BOE display of your OLED Steam Deck to as much as 120 Hertz. With this mod enabled, it should extend the refresh rate options here while also filling in those that are missing from the stock slider. I wish I could show that off in this video, but the 512 gigabyte OLED Steam Deck right here has the Samsung panel. And this script just isn't tested for these as of recording this video. Now that could change in the future, with an update to the script, but we're going to have to wait and see what the developer community can come up with.